Mr. Coconut plays one of the best games in Total Drama history, so it sucks how he's taken out by Chris so close to the end. If we want Mr. Coconut to win, we need to lean into his tactical nature. Rather than letting Owen blow his cover, he'll stay more under the radar, which shouldn't be difficult, as he's just a coconut. Or is he? We see Mr. Coconut die twice across the series, but he always returns. Not only does he return from death, but he can seemingly teleport across the world, with him somehow ending up in Brazil. Anyways, for Mr. Coconut to even have a shot at winning, he'd need to become a more villainous character. So let's look at how Mr. Coconut can win Total Drama Island. In Camp Castaways, Mr. Coconut's role doesn't change much. This will be a consistent theme as he tries to stay under the radar. He still saves the group to get in their good graces, but he gets into Owen's head a bit and tells him to chill throughout the episode. When it's time for the elimination, there isn't one, since Chris doesn't need Owen to not be insane. In Are We There, Yeti, not much changes also, other than Chef's recap. Mr. Coconut will no longer be murdered since he wasn't found out. Now, as we know, Mr. Coconut is a strategic genius and he will likely attempt to get rid of the two most likely people to find him out, Heather and especially Duncan. Heather has been putting her nose into pretty much everything, and Duncan and Owen are very close friends. So, Mr. Coconut's number one priority right now is getting Duncan out. So he sabotages them, whispering in Owen's ear about sticky buns, causing him not to secure the win, and that any sane competitor would vote out Duncan. Mr. Coconut assumed that it'd be a regular vote, but instead, Chef chose who to eliminate. Luckily for him, Chef hates Duncan. Now that Mr. Coconut's number one competition is gone, he has to focus on Heather. And I triple dog dare you, Owen will definitely be feeling the effects of a psychic coconut talking to him. By this time, he's likely less pumped for the all-you-can-eat pancakes, and Heather has probably noticed this by now and is catching on. Owen would likely be less talkative during his challenges, which would ironically help Heather. Eventually, when Gwen asks to split the freebies, Mr. Coconut will tell him to split to get rid of Heather. When Heather actually stays in, Mr. Coconut starts to get nervous. So he uses his genius strategy to come up with his best plan yet. He puts a pipe bomb in Chef's razor. In the finale, it doesn't really matter what Gwen and Owen do. Mr. Coconut is winning no matter what. But I see two possible ways of it happening. One, the much lamer of the two options, with Mr. Coconut teleporting to the $100,000 and getting out fast. Or two, when one of the two win, Mr. Coconut attacks them like Feral Zeke, and if they somehow overpower him, he has a backup plan. I hope you all enjoyed this video. In case you're wondering why I sound so weird, it's because I snorted 37 grams of helium and not because I'm a special guest star. My question of the week for you is, who's winning, Goku or Mr. Coconut? Leave your comments below. Have a good one, y'all, and make the day yours.